song that goes at the end of the movie on the play out of the credits mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's very different the single version we've done because we re-recorded -re -re it and did a different bass line and everything on it john deacon is a retired english musician john deacon is a multi-instrumentalist who's most widely recognized as the bass player for the british band queen he composed several songs for the group including top 10 hits you're my best friend another one bites the dust and i want to break free co-wrote Under Pressure, Friends Will Be Friends, and One Vision, and was involved in the band's financial management. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Queen in 2001 and into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2003. So now they realize how important music is, you know, in, the, in, in say, like a Beverly Hills Cop. You know, I mean, that was really part of the appeal as well, you know, the music that went with it as well. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John Richard Deacon, but is also known as Deacon Deeks Deakey. He was born August 19, 1951 in Leicester, England, making him age 71 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.8 meters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. His favorite food is cheese on toast, and his favorite drink is milk. Super Freak is John Deacon's favorite song. He likes to listen to soul and funk songs. The Exorcist is his favorite movie of all time. His favorite books are anything on space, science, and fiction. Brown is his favorite color. His favorite Queen album is Queen 2. One of the reasons for Queen splitting from Trident, their original management company, is that it refused to lend Deacon money to put a deposit on a house. Deacon has often been described as the quiet member of the band, although the rest of the band felt he was the right basis for them, he barely spoke in rehearsals and avoided arguments. A trademark of Deacon's playing is his bass runs. A 1975 review of Sheer Heart Attack said, only at the end would a new initiate to Queen recognize John Deacon's unmistakable trademark. The least well-known musician in Queen is one of his rock generation's most able. He's the only Queen member not to sing lead vocals on any Queen track. He assembled Brian May's mini guitar amplifier out of electronic junk in an old speaker box. The device was dubbed the Deaky Amp and became part of May's characteristic guitar sound. The bassist doesn't stay in touch with the other members of Queen, but he's still involved in the business activities of the band. He also gave his permission for the making of the group's biopic, Bohemian Rhapsody, released in 2018. Although he doesn't have much contact with his former bandmates, they don't make any financial decisions without asking him. In 2022, May told Rock FM Spain that despite many inquiries, Deacon has repeatedly declined to rejoin Queen. Even if he did, it would not be easy for Deacon to go back to live performance again because things have changed a lot and Roger and I have adapted a certain amount. We're still very old school, but we're aware of different ways of behaving these days and different ways in which our art is channeled. I don't think that it's going to happen, sadly. I'd love to say yes, but I don't think it would. It's possible that we could meet in some low-stress situation, I think, but in public, probably not. In 2013, a newly discovered species of the genus Heterogrion, Odonata zygoptera from Brazil, was named Heterogrion John Deaconi after Deacon, in honor of his musical and songwriting skills. One of four Heterogrion flat-winged damselflies named after the bandmates paying tribute to the 40th anniversary of Queen's founding. John is married to Veronica Tetzlaff. The pair got married on January 18, 1975, and they have six children together. He wrote the Queen song, You're My Best Friend, in tribute to his wife, Veronica. John and his wife, Veronica, have six children, Michael, Robert, Laura, Joshua, Luke, and Cameron. Um, well, we do go through rough patches together. I mean, we argue a lot still. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, but at the moment, I'm very happy to say that we're still working together. He was born to Arthur Henry and Lillian Molly Deacon. His father worked at the Norwich Union Insurance Company, and in 1960, the family moved to the dormitory town of Odeby. Deacon attended Linden Junior School in Leicester, Gartry High School. Deacon took an interest in electronics at an early age, reading magazines on the subject and building small devices. He studied well at Beauchamp Grammar School in Odeby and achieved eight GCEO level and three A level passes, all at grade A. He particularly enjoyed soul music. 
1965, at the age of 14, Deacon formed a school band, The Opposition. The band would go through many lineups and name changes, with Deacon eventually leaving the band altogether in 1969 to pursue studies in electronics at Chelsea College in London. In August 1969, John Deacon left the opposition and his instruments behind an Odeby to concentrate on his studies at Chelsea College. Nonetheless, in late 1970, he formed his own band, Deacon, that gave only one live performance at the college. In early 1971, he was introduced to Roger Taylor and Brian May, members of a newly formed band, Queen, at a disco. In June 1971, John Deacon played his first show with Queen at the College of Estate Management in Kensington. In December, they began recording their first album, Queen, which would eventually be released on July 13, 1973. On November 8, 1974, the band released their third studio album, Sheer Heart Attack, and with it, Deacon debuted as a songwriter, writing Misfire and co-writing Stone Cold Crazy. From 1975, Deacon began to compose regularly, becoming well-known for writing Spread Your Wings for their 1977 album, News of the World. However, he got his first worldwide hits when in 1980 he wrote Another One Bites the Dust and Need Your Lovin' Tonight for Queen's eighth album, The Game. From the mid-1980s, concurrently with playing for Queen, he also started playing for other bands, such as SAS. He officially retired from public life after Freddie Mercury's death in 1991, but continued to perform sporadically until 1997. Deacon has stayed out of the public eye since retiring. He chose not to be present at Queen's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. That was just a one-day shoot as well, I think which is enough really, I mean, you know, uh, it's sort of, um, I would rather actually be in the studio or actually out on stage really. John has primarily accumulated his net worth from his career in music. Goldfinch Productions, owned by Deacon, has paid him millions of dollars. He's also made money through live concerts and brand endorsement deals. In 1973, he made $620,000 from the sales of the album titled Queen, which he released with the rock band Queen. During the next year, he made more than $1.5 million from albums including Sheer Heart Attack and Queen 2. Later, in 1975 and 1976, John earned more than $4.8 million from his various albums. In 1995, John made over $10 million from the album titled Made in Heaven. He has a net worth of $170 million. Since his retirement, John Deacon has lived in seclusion by choosing not to be in the public eye. Currently, he lives in his house in Putney in southwest London. John has never moved from Putney since he never wanted to disrupt the schooling of his children. The house features five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a swimming pool. He owns the following vehicles, a Porsche SUV, a 1978 Aston Martin V8 Vantage Coupe, a Vespa Scooter, an Audi R8, a Ferrari. Rolls-Royce.